Angus with Lake Life Realty. I'm here for our home improvement series. We're in Guilford today with um, Jeremy of Lighthouse Contracting Group. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for coming. We, we always love following your projects and seeing what's out there and what you're doing. You're always so busy, so yes. <laughs> it doesn't end. <laughs> All over the Lakes region. Absolutely. So like I said, we're in Gunstock Acres in Guilford. Um, we'll show you some clips, but gorgeous views um, of the center of the lake out there. There's a lot of white caps today. It's a little bit breezy, which is why we're not on the deck and shooting this and yes. we're inside. It's a chilly day, it man. It is a chilly day, but, um, but a beautiful spot. Um, and this is, you just said they're, you're wrapping up the project today and doing a big reveal tomorrow. Yeah. So we're catching you right at the- Perfect timing. Yeah, I was gonna say the finish line, which yeah. is always exciting. The finish line is an exciting place. Absolutely. So I, tell us a little bit about, this was not a new construction. This was a major reno, kind yeah. of start to, start to finish. So tell us a little bit about the project. Yeah, so this is a full gut and remodel. Uh, this client, she grew up coming up here. Her father built the house in 1972. Yeah, so she grew up coming up here as a little kid. She remembers skiing down the, the actually the road right behind us. Which we, you can do. Yeah, because none of the houses were built oh, up the street. True. So yeah. uh, this was in 72, that was the first on the street. Yeah. So she grew, she grew up coming up as a kid mm -hmm. and kind of her, her kids grew up coming here. And um, so she became the owner and recently retired. So breathing some new life into the property, uh, you know, to create that gathering space for the next generation. Mm -hmm. So we started talking about a year and a half ago oh. and which, you know, so we start, we started the project January 1st, right after Christmas. Yeah. So it's been, you know, about five months. Um, when we started planning it, we planned it for about a year. So yeah. the initial discussions and I knew when we first met, oh, I want to work with her so bad. She is, yeah. she is fun. She's energetic. Um, yeah. She likes some of the, she really likes some of the things that were here before. So, mm -hmm. you know, we really wanted to incorporate into the new space. Mm -hmm. and of course, with everything being new, how do we incorporate some of the things yeah. that were here that are over 50 years old, right? Um, but, and we did a really good job. So Lauren Milligan was the designer on this project and she's really good about that. So, yeah. you know, there's some things that the client really enjoyed and wanted to be a part of and work with. and. Um, you know, like the fun tile behind us. She just has a fun, um, you know, personality about her. So we get to bring some of that in, which is really cool. Yeah. Really wasn't much saved here. I mean, we stripped it down to the framing and that was one of our biggest challenges as we started peeling back the layers of the onion. You know, it, it, it didn't, it wasn't up to our standards so much. So. Well, 1972 too, I guess you never know what's behind the walls, especially yeah. so. Pretty like, sure. Uh, I think this house was built on the weekend. Yeah, right, and that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's definitely, yeah. but that's, again, it, she can, you know, rest easy that it's now, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> we went through, I mean, that was the biggest challenge was if we looked at the framing as a whole, it was, I remember I stayed up a couple of nights thinking about like, do we just start over? Cause oh, that's really? where we were, that's where it was at. Like, do we just, start, do we take this down to the foundation mm -hmm. and start over? And so I started looking at it, uh, how we could approach it from a couple different angles yeah. and, and segregate it into pieces. So that's how we did it. We really looked at all the different, the floor system, the walls, the roof, and we reinforced and did what we needed to do to, you know, shore it up. And then all new insulation, all new, all new um, plumbing, electrical, HVAC, everything's new except for the roof, which was recently installed before we started. So that's the only piece that got salvaged. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it got um, taken right down to the studs and redone. So efficient for sure. I think that speaks also to, you know, different contractors, you know, it probably is easier just to tear down and start fresh in a lot of ways. But at the same time, well, you're taking the time to really think about how can we make a, a new roof essentially work and how can we use what's here to keep the bones that are here right. to recreate it. And that's, that's the challenge I think that not all contractors are capable of. Starting new is much easier. Yes. And also being sensitive to her father built the house. Absolutely. So, you know, for us to say, <laughs> we gotta take this part, yeah. that's not gonna sit well. So yeah. our goal was to, to use what we could, you yeah. know, so the fireplace that mm -hmm. we worked around that the whole time and nice. it's fun, it's quirky, it's what she likes. There's yeah. some light fixtures, the, the chandelier in the um, entryway. It was hanging in the living room, never wired, never hooked up. Her dad got that at uh, some antique sale, yard sale thing. And, and some of the styles have probably come around too, yeah. so it's fine, it fits. And yeah. like, I know the bench, we'll, we'll show you here as well, but like the, the it's an old church pew yeah. that's in the mud room. So I think that's what also brings so much character to a lot of the homes too, so you can kind of it's not just your job and Lauren Milligan's job, but just to really mesh. Bring the pieces these. together. Absolutely. Yeah, dad's liquor cabinet was hanging on the wall. <laughs> we um, 
We've got new glass, we've got glass shelves, we built two bookcases to match it, so it all goes together. So that was dad's liquor cabinet. And those things when you walk in, like that has value. So I say, hey, let's, what can we do with that? Let's incorporate it. The, the pew bench, like you said, her dad had made that for like a supplemental countertop in the mm -hmm. kitchen, the chandelier, yeah. the handrail going down the stairs to the basement, the dresser. That's, that's in the bathroom, we turned oh, into yeah. a vanity. Yeah. I mean, that's fun. Yeah. So. It, and again, it's easier to, for your side of things, to just let's just buy a new vanity. But it's, I think, with, with the client interaction, really incorporating what their goals are, that, that's where the challenges are created and that's yeah. where you can kind of shine, is yeah. what I always say. I mean, that's what differentiates you from someone else necessarily coming in. Starting new is easier. Yeah. Uh, there's the light fixture, there's another light fixture we saved outside. Mm -hmm. So that one in Dad's chandelier, like we sent to a lamp shop to have rebuilt because we can't, liability wise too, like it's gotta yeah. be working order. Of course. You know, 50 year old wiring uh, yeah. gets to be inspected and re <laughs> redone in order to be able to put it in and all of us stand behind it and rest assured, so. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and it's, that makes it fun too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so other than the, so the footprint's the same essentially. Yeah. The foundation was good, the roof is intact, that's all good, but everything else, interior wise, we were saying before, the layout worked here for the most part. You had yeah. to pull, you know, take and eat and gain some uh, bathroom and bedroom square footage here and there to make it more functional for today's living, because if we live differently than we may have been. But, right. Um, but other than that, the layout was seemed functional and it's you didn't have to... Pretty consistent. I yeah. mean, the rooms are small back there. Mm -hmm. We made it work. You know, we moved the laundry room. Yeah. We opened up the kitchen. The front entry, powder room, entryway, that's what changed the most and yeah. I think has the most grand effect in this space too. Usable. Um, yeah, totally. Much more usable. But mostly it's working within the existing space. We reconfigured some windows and doors because mm -hmm. it was all new. All new windows, all new entry doors, siding, you know, metal wrap yeah. and all of that on the exterior, so. And new decking, I'm assuming. I was yep. tell that's all brand new as well. Yeah, you we, gotta capture the view, so you needed a good deck out yeah. there, for sure. With provisions for a future screen porch, too. Oh, we nice. put in our plans, you know, how to have a screen porch off of the deck and just wasn't quite gonna be part of this phase, so mm -hmm. we kind of set it up in a way that would be prepared for that and then yeah. when the time comes. And so has she, I guess we should, I didn't ask, it's a second home for them, for her, so has she been up to see it like through progress at all or? Well, that's the exciting part. <laughs> yeah. She came up once about a third of the way into the project and had lunch with the crew. I unfortunately was out of town <laughs> at the time, but yeah. she, um, her cousin and her boyfriend came and, and nice. they all, crew had lunch together, so that was cool. Um, but it's not the same because all the site protection, yeah. all the tools, everything's oh, yeah. in here. It's, it's, not the same. it's not the same. So what's really fun is tomorrow yeah. uh, we're having the reveal. So we'll have our photography done in the morning mm -hmm. and then she'll come at lunchtime. We're gonna mic up and we're gonna film the reveal where she'll get to see the whole space for the first time. That's awesome. And then, it's a little bit more exciting. I mean, not that it's not exciting when you have a client that sees it periodically. Right. But it's more suspenseful. <laughs> it's, it, it's fun, it's a blast, because yeah. you're capturing all that excitement at once. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because the excitement when client sees it regularly, like that excitement happens, you know, slowly over a period yeah. of time, yet the true reveal, like when you pick up all the site protection mm -hmm. and pull all your tools out and you say, okay, here are the keys, it's yours yeah. now. Like there's still excitement there, but this takes it to a whole new level. Absolutely, and It's absolutely. fun. So I know you spoke, you spoke about challenges just with the pulling back everything and framing and trying to think about how to approach the whole project. Anything different about this project than others? I mean, I know you see all types of things, but would you say there's anything specific that set this one apart? You know, uh, the site was it was challenging. Mm -hmm. It's uh, being here in the acres, it's very steep. Yes. Um, there's not much staging area whatsoever. So, mm -hmm. and we worked through the winter. It was January, February, March. We had- That was the snow time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had tons say. of snow stacking up. <laughs> Uh, and they don't like us parking in the street because it's town it's yeah. town roads like the plows are it's a narrow street anyway yeah. so those those logistics were a little challenging mm -hmm. during the winter at least you um, have the view for the oh, <laughs> beautiful and the wind and the wind yeah I was gonna say with the yeah. wind comes the wind so definitely no I mean this is again a testament to to a lot of your projects it's a great combination of old and new and and we love the story kind of behind where the client their family owned it and built it so that's always that's, that's the always, cool part like yeah. getting to be a part of that mm -hmm. you know that's what excites us working with great clients and she's just been wonderful the whole that's the whole awesome. way and so it's really exciting for us to get to share it with her and then following this reveal and yeah. you know sitting down together we're having a, an appreciation hour so oh, cool. well you know we'll have some um 
some refreshments and a few of our key trade partners that worked on the project. She'll get to meet them, our whole team. So everybody will be here at the end of the day yeah. tomorrow to celebrate. Uh, you know the completion of the project. And I think that is great because that yeah. doesn't happen every time. You know, it's it's sometimes it's so hard in the onto the next project because that is yeah. unfortunately the, 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 the reality. <laughs> but at the same time, you, it gives you some closure yeah. <laughs> from a client perspective and from their perspective. So. Just, just to share in the excitement of what it is we do, mm -hmm. and especially like right now, we are working very hard to meet our yeah. you know our market is the vacation resort area. Yeah. Most people enjoy their homes primarily in the summertime, so. We were, we we're approaching that uh, mm -hmm. that era now, so deadlines. We're working, yeah. you know, six seven days a week, and so this opportunity tomorrow is really going to help yeah. energize our crew yes. to move forward through the next seven yes. weeks of hard work. She's moving in at the perfect time, at least for the seasonality aspect of like yeah. enjoying summer. So she couldn't have nailed that. Better. On time and on budget, which is awesome. Say, yeah, yes, and on time and on budget, which is always a win all yes. around. So. Well, thank you so much again. Um, we'll definitely highlight some of the th features we talked about and, um, and we appreciate you letting us come check the project out. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming over. Thanks.